Hello everyone, today we are going to be making a springy floral type soap, which is why we have this little flower mold right here that we're going to be using. We're going to be making three different colored flowers, we're going to be making 33 of them. I'm hoping that they will fit three way, like three long, on a bar. So this way I can fit one of each onto a bar and then we can have, you know, 11 bars because that's how many bars my mold makes. So this way we can have one of each, good diversity, and I'm repeating myself, but that's all right. So first thing that we're gonna do is I have melted, or not melted, cut up and mixed two ounces of glycerin with one ounce of goat's milk. And the reason that I did this is because with glycerin, when you use a shiny mica, like I like to use, um, and these all like the blue vibrants, I. I, the first first time I've ever used it, I think it's gonna be super pretty. At least that's what I'm hoping. I mean, it's gonna be really pretty. They have great micas at this company. Um, it tends to leave that kind of shine and still has that translucentness. And I don't want that. I want there to be a little bit of opaqueness. I want it to be a little bit solid, but I didn't want it to be pastel, like normal colors that you get when you use goat's milk. So I figured two to one ratio, mix the bases together, see what happens, and to go from there. So that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna melt these down, all three of them. This was the next to smallest container that I had, but I think this one is really cute. It's like a little, little shot glass, but bigger. So yeah, I'm gonna melt these down. Okay, so they're not like melted down completely yet, but I wanted you guys to see this. It looks so something, like, it's very like, oceany and like oystery like I don't know it's weird but it's cool and I'm glad they're mixing so I'm gonna finish melting these down but I just really wanted to show you guys that really quick because they don't have science okay so they're all pretty much melted down now and I'm going to just give them a good little stir it looks like there's still a lot of white like the goat's milk in there but like when you pour it up it's not pour it up when you pull it up it's not as much so I'm hoping my idea works if not we're just gonna have spring pastel colors I'm gonna put my gloves on now because I had most of this stuff pre-cut because that takes a while especially when you're literally measuring like an ounce of soap which over here we have like 42 ounces so but let me see, how do I want to do this? I'm going to do... Get my little teaspoon. Get my little thingamajig. More science. I almost poured that right into the actual mica. Oh my goodness. I would have hated myself. Because that is a very pretty mica very beautiful yellow color and I dig it so much giving it a good mix getting all that stuff off the bottom and then pouring it in and the reason why I put as much mica as I did considering it's only three ounces of soap is because let me wash this out really quick is because I wanted to make sure that they're bright you know spring flowers when they first bloom they're very vibrant they're very bright I absolutely love them and yes it's doing what I wanted I mean it's still pastel-y but it's doing what I wanted it's not like pastel pastel yellow I mean it looks kind of like an egg yolk I just ruined this for myself but it's still very nice and bright. I mean, it does still have those shimmer lines in it, but eh, you win some, you lose some. And also with a yellow, I mean, a yellow's gonna be like, it'll never be like that. Little, little, little dot right there, unless you put it directly in soap, glycerin. Unless you put it directly in glycerin. Now, I'm gonna go through, and there are three different types of flowers. So let me look. 
This is a sunflower, so I'm gonna put them in these for the yellow. And I have to do this two times for this mold. And then an extra row. So this way we get 33 flowers. And then I got a little dripsies in here. So I'm just gonna, whoa, as I totally, see that's what happens. But it didn't go in, so I'm just gonna make a line with my finger, pull that up. And I did, technically, I didn't need to do three ounces of each soap. I am gonna have a little of each color left over, and that's fine, but that's also because I know me, and I know I do stuff like this. So I'm a genius. Alrighty, so new glove status achieved. Clean utensils achieved. And then spoon and mixture achieved. So now I'm gonna do the blue. I'm trying to think of blue flowers in my head right now. And I know like there's like the blue bonnet. But I don't, there has to be others. I mean, I know there are violets and stuff, which are purple, which I could throw some purple in here, make my own little color. But, I'm not gonna, because I wanna see what this blue actually looks like. I mean, it's going in, it's gonna be slight more pastel than normal, but, Yes, look at it. See, this is, see see what I meant by like, I knew the yellow was gonna be more egg yolky, but this is like, not too far off from what it looks like in the container, which is what I wanted. Awesome sauce, awesome sauce, awesome sauce. This is what I dig. This is what I live for. All right, so this little dude is nice and heated up again. And now it's time for the pink, which is in a bag, which is always my favorite. Ooh, as I almost knock it over, see? This is my problem. I'm too clumsy to be doing this. All right, so she got a bit messy, but that's all right. We like a messy. And I'm not gonna say the word that normally goes with it, but you know if you know. So we're gonna let these set, as gorgeous as that one is, we're gonna let these set, get cooled down, pop them out, redo it. Yay, redo it. And I'm gonna pull this out before that soap hardens and I get Stuck with the soap and a spoon and a soap. Whatever. We'll be back. Okay, so I laid these little guys out on a paper towel just because my cutting board is taken and I didn't want to put them directly on the surface. But look at them. They're so cute. They got just enough detail. You know what they are. You, know, you can tell that this is a sunflower. That that's like a rose. That that's like a flower because I still can't I could have googled I could have googled blue flowers while I was Tulip are tulips blue no tulips are yellow, but I could have totally googled blue flowers While I was waiting for these to cool, but I didn't I instead played Gardenscapes because I'm an adult so the yellow is reheated and we're gonna repeat the process one more time
Alrighty, so time for them to sit again. I did a little bit better with the spoon process this time. It's not as messy. So we're gonna let it set. Oh my God, in the lens, it looks like um, Connect Four. I mean, I know it's not the colors of Connect Four, but that's what it looks like from far away, like from where I'm standing, because you're, you're a distance away. But it looks cool. We're gonna let them set. I've been melting down the base while we're waiting for this. So hopefully by the time these are all done cooling, that's done melting so we can pour, let set, do another thin layer of goat's milk because that's what I'm gonna hook these to. So this way I don't have to like, just hope that they set. So this way I can just have like a tiny thin layer of paste. So that's where we're gonna go from here. Okay, so I just tested the, uh, well, tested putting all of these in the soap mold how I wanted. And the salt mold is quite thinner than I thought it was. This doesn't want to peel off. That's totally fine. We'll just, eh, we'll just, oh no, I did the thing. Oh no, come on, come on. Don't take a chunk of soap out. Come on, come on, come on. Slowly, slowly, come on. There we go. <laughs> it's, it's either a frowny face or a really hot smiley face, depending on how you look at it. Um. But I don't think this is gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make as much as this will fill up in here. And what's left over is left over. And they're gonna go in my little bag of wonders, my little bag of leftovers. And we're gonna go from there. Cause when does anything ever work on this channel? Never. And that's how we play along. Oh no, I got a yellow smudge on this. Oh, I looked it up. I looked up corn bell. Corn bells are blue flowers. Um, 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 I looked up more. I looked up more. Hold on. I looked them up this time. Daisies are blue. Um, corn flowers, which I just mentioned. And then we've got bell flowers, Beneria, columbine, desert blue bells which is what I was thinking of earth. irises. Irises are blue, haha. -ha. So there are a lot of blue flowers out there, more than I thought. I don't think we really have blue flowers where I'm from. So, or I mean, we might, I just don't go outside. So that could be an option too. So I'm gonna remelt, pour, and just go from there. Whatever's left over, whatever is left over. These I didn't fragrance, so I can use these kind of colors for really anything. Um, Oh, actually, no. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get creative. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. All right. So, we'll be back. I'm going to be smart. Well, I'm going to be plan B smart. Whoa, that came out wrong. I'm going to do something that's probably going to end wrong. All right, so I have my 41 to 42 ounces of goat's milk all melted down. And this is where, well, pretty much all melted down. This is where the fragrance oil is going to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in. This is a really nice scent. It's a floral um, with a hint of like ocean air. And I think that's the reason why I chose this scent out of all of the other florals that I have. It's because I'm from Florida. And spring means that you start going back to the beach. Technically we go to the beach all year round, but this is really when it becomes a thing is during the spring. So I'm just gonna pour that all in there. But you know, normally most people around the country are dealing with a bunch of rain and you know, weird weather during the spring and things starting back up. And then summer's when they go to the beach and have fun and go to the lake and all that kind of stuff. Well, we have that all year round. So the rain, I mean, you know, we have winter in the morning, spring in the midday, summer afternoon, and then fall at night. We go through all four seasons in one day because we're Florida. But I've just always kind of loved the smell of the ocean. And it does remind me of spring because that's when like we would go on field trips to the ocean and all that kind of stuff is whenever the springtime would hit because 
that's when we were honestly the most stressed out as students because that's when we were dealing with all the standardized tests and all that kind of stuff. So teachers would be like, let's go on a field trip to the beach and collect shells and all that kind of stuff. So it's a good springtime memory, but it still has some florals in there. It's got some rose. It's got some hibiscus scents in there, honeysuckle. It's a little bit powdery, but I think that's because of the ocean scent, like the, the beachy scent mixed in there, but it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. I absolutely dig it. Now I think that little dude is gone. So what I'm gonna do now is set my spoon. Well, yeah, I'll keep the spoon for now. And I'm gonna bring over the loaf mold, which I've been playing around with all of these in, trying to figure out how to function them, and I figured it out. So I actually took two from each color that had hardened and put them back in here, and I'm probably already gonna have to heat these back up just because there's so little in them. Like, yeah, blue's, blue's already hard. <laughs> that could have backfired really bad. And then yellow, yeah, so. I'm gonna have to reheat these, which is totally fine, because this is not gonna cool very fast. It took a very long time for that to heat up. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour a pure white basin. I think that might have been what was left of that little itty bitty chunk. And then I'm gonna take the spoon and just get out what little leftover I can. Which is not much because it was still very, very warm. I'm gonna spray you down and heat these up really quick. All right, so this was not originally the plan, but it's the plan now. I don't know what it's gonna do, I don't know what it's gonna look like, but we're gonna have a little bit of color. Scrape the blue, get as much blue as possible. I just realized I kind of did just all three of the primary colors. Not the plan, but it worked. Fudge nuts. I just realized I totally just mixed this all together. So I'm gonna do an ounce or two of melt and pour. I might remelt some of this, put that in there just to kind of make it match. I might not, I don't know. We'll see. And then using that melt and pour, I'm gonna put these on. So we'll be back in a little bit. So I attempted to lay down one ounce, but that was not enough. So I melted down a bit more of the goat's milk. And this sh should be enough. I'm actually not gonna use all of it because I don't want it to be too high on the flowers. So now I'm working against the clock. just to make sure that these guys are on there. And watch, when I go to cut this tomorrow, they're not gonna be, because my life. It's not perfect, but what is? You know, the most beautiful things in life aren't perfect. So, we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. I also don't know why, for some reason down here, it wasn't letting me get them as close as it did down here. I could have probably fit another row of colors on there, but let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. It'll be interesting to see how it cuts. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are back and it has been more than a day because 
work. <laughs> um, and I probably filmed both of these parts much later in the evening. And when I say evening, I mean early morning. Then I should have, but I did it. Oh, that's good. See, it's not that noticeable, the line. I mean, you can kind of see it throughout, but it's all right. It's okay. I'm just hoping that I don't lose any of the top embeds because that would be sad. And it smells good. It's not very strong. It's very subtle, which is good because the scent is, well, is capable of being overpowering. So now we're going to cut it and we're going to pray. that we don't lose any pieces. And if we do, well, then we do. Okay, let's see what the inside looks like. I'm really excited to see if my idea worked. Well, I'm not really. <laughs> it's got some of it in there. It's a, there's a little bit of color. I'm not sure how well you can see little bit smidgen we're gonna keep cutting and see if maybe we can find some more so far so good on the embeds I'm probably getting my hopes up a little too early but what are hopes for if you don't do that I'm gonna have to clean off my blade every cut for this soap so I don't get any on the embeds and I mean, you can kind of see it. I mean, I think I was thinking of Funfetti when I made this soap. So, you know, it's a little Funfetti-ish with the icing colors. Let me justify this, you guys. Just let me justify it to myself. have my sample piece <laughs> oh we're getting a more it looks like like fruity pebbles milk I should have said that's what I was thinking of when I did it dang it So it looks like one end got more of the color than the other, but that's all right. It was just kind of a little extra add-in that I did because I had that leftover, wa uh, leftover wax. I've been making wax melts, I apologize, but leftover soap that I just melted back down and poured into the white base just to kind of see what would happen. And it did, I mean, it's very interesting in a lot of parts. So my mom, when she first saw it sitting out, said that I messed up and that I should have put it to where each bar of soap had all three flowers on it and then cut it that way but then the bars of soap would have been super super thick and I think very hard to handle and I mean I don't think they look too bad the way how they are with the tops having some of the flowers being cut you know I don't think it's too rough this is really the only piece that worries me because I don't know if you can see how it looks like that one's a little bit disconnected, but, or no wait, it's not that one. Well, I mean, that one's a little bit too, but it's mostly this one. That's the one that I was going for. I was about to be like, wow, this one must've got pushed down. Nope, I'm just filming this way too late at night and my memory is just going. So this is, I still haven't thought of a name for it. I guess spring flower or I'll have thought of a name for it by the time the video goes up and by the time I put it on Etsy. It's just, it's too late at night for me to contemplate it. Ooh, Florida, Florida, I don't know. Florida something, because it reminded me, the smell reminded me of springtime in Florida. So that's, it's going to be something along those themes. But if you like these videos of me exploring how to make melt and pour soap, why don't you give this video a like or subscribe whichever one I'm not picky leave a comment um and yeah I will see you next time with whatever next the next soap is that I decide to make I'm probably gonna make it ocean themed
because I'm in a I'm in a springy time ocean mood. So it's probably gonna be ocean themed. So we will see you then. Bye!